Welcome back. Today we talk about what all the differences between SDK and CDK. Um, as you see in the previous two videos, um, when we talk about what is an SDK and what is an CDK, these sounds like similar or familiar, or these sounds that they do the same thing. So, AWS SDK is short for let's AWS SDK is short for Software Development Kit, and AWS C. DK is short for Cloud Development Kit, and both are uh, um, they are uh, both essential tools in AWS ecosystem, but they serve different purposes and are used in different stages of development process. So let's just try to make a break, uh, break it down. So first, let's talk about the purpose. So the purpose of the SDK is the AWS SDK is used to, to interact, it's used to interact with, oh, okay, just don't, don't care about this one. And um, AWS SDK is used to, to interact programmatically with AWS services. It allows you to create, configure, and manage AWS resources directly from your application. So the thing that, the main thing that I can allow, it, I can create, configure, and manage AWS resources directly from my machine. In the other hand, the purpose of the CDK, let me just make sure that I'm doing it right, yeah. The purpose of the CDK is that the CDK is a software development framework for defining cloud infrastructure in code and, prov and uh, provisioning it through AWS Cloud Formation. So it's this one, it's for, uh, it's for uh, cloud infrastructure, is defining cloud infrastructure and the CDK is to uh, to manage configure and create resources directly in the code uh, let's talk about the functionality so um, it it in in the AWS SDK, it provides libraries for uh, various programming languages to make API calls to AWS services. This include operations like uh, reading from an accessory bucket, writing to DynamoDB table, or starting uh, an EC2 instance. In the other hand, the CDK functionality. It allows you to model and provision your cloud infrastructure using familiar programming languages. It abstracts away the complex of raw cloud formation JSON or YAML templates. So, so as you can see here, here I, I am allowed to model and provision my cloud infrastructure. In the SDK, which is here, I I um I I I can get I, I I was provided by libraries for various programming languages to make API calls to AWS services. The main thing it's to make API calls. Let's talk about the use case. So the use case it's ideal for application level integration with AWS services. For example, if your application needs to upload files to S3 or send messages through SNS, you would like to use SDK. Let's talk about the use case here. So it's ideal for infrastructure as a code application. You use CDK to define the AWS resource your application needs, like I will define the Lambda function, I will define a third bucket, I will define a DynamoDB table before deploying to your application. So as I see here, it's used to define uh, to, to use define resources or used to define infrastructure, and this one is used to call or use this infrastructure with APIs. Let's talk about the language support. So um, um, the SDK offers uh, offers SDKs for a wide range of programming languages, including Python, JavaScript, Java, .NET. A PHP, Ruby, and Go, and um, the same thing here. It will be quite with the CDK. Um, it supports several programming languages, including TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, Java, C Sharp, Go, etc. So let's talk about the granularity. Granularity. Uh, 
granularity. So, um, in here, the granularity, it allows for fine-grained control over AWS resources and services at the code level. In the other hand, the other hand here, let me just make sure this it's looking good. It provides high-level constructs that encapsulate AWS best practices. It's more about defining infrastructure rather than handling service-level operations. Um, if we want to talk about the runtime usage, it's typically used the runtime within application code for the SDK. In the CDK, um, the pre-runtime usage is used the in, 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 uh, in the infrastructure setup phase before the actual application runs. It's not typically used in the runtime application logic. This is also something you should know. So let's talk in summary. In summary, the SDK, it works with AWS services at the application level. It's about making calls to AWS services from your application. The other hand, the CDK defines the provisions cloud infrastructure using familiar programming languages. It's about setting up and configuring the AWS resources that your application will use. So it's a practical use. A developer might use the the CDK to define the infrastructure like database storage and compute resources and then we'll use the SDK in their application code to interact with these resources and this infrastructure so this was the main thing between that is the differences between both of them so um, that's it for this video I hope you like my content if you like my content just subscribe and hit the notification bell so never miss a video and see you in future problem